Oof. Okay, guys, quick news update for you. Um, recent news article uh, on Jeff Bezos, of all people. The Amazon man himself, the richest man on the planet, I think. Is that is that right? I don't know. Um, guys, I'm just going to share this article with you online and see if this works. Uh, and I'll read through it. So here you go. Jeff Bezos pledges $60 million uh, to alternative meat research. Uh, the Bezos Earth Fund is supporting research to help the alternative meat industry lower costs and improve nutritional content. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Analysts have been suggesting for months that the plant-based bubble may have burst, but a new infusion of capital may quell that speculation. Okay, the bubble did burst. Let's, let's just put that out there for now, right? Because like three big plant-based protein companies went bankrupt, right? And stocks are plummeting of these companies, right? And the data's there. So the bubble burst. Um, that's That's for sure. So, you know... It's not really a suggestion anymore. That's happened. You know, whether it's going to come back or not or whatever, or the there's going to be new money, whatever. But I'm just saying um, the bubble, but for now, the bubble did burst on the plant-based uh, protein industry. That's really happened. I think in the last um, probably year, 2023, and then more recently, uh, last few months, that's really happened. But now, look at this. Jeff Bezos says... Philanthropic organization will denote, donate $60 million to improve and scale meat, meat alternatives in order to help slow the rate of climate change, deforestation, and biodiversity loss. What a, what a goal that is. Um, very big goals there. Slow the rate of climate change, deforestation, and biodiversity loss uh, with $60 million. Um, guys, do we think... Do we think money is going to solve this problem at this point? I don't, I don't think so. I think we've had enough money around for a long, long time. I don't, think, I don't think wherever you look, I don't think money's really ever solved it. You know, I mean, not to be harsh, but there's some great charities out there that do some fantastic work. And, you know, they always want more money, more money. They get huge investments. Do they ever solve the problem? Sometimes no. So I don't think money's really gonna gonna help in a big way. My question is, why? Why is Jeff Bezos um, doing this? Obviously, the money's not really anything, is it? Sixty million dollars, not not really a lot for his businesses and his wealth. Um, but why this thing? It's very easy for someone like me to think very cynically um, about this and presume that Jeff Bezos is doing this uh, for the wrong reasons and because he's, you know, for want of a better word, evil and because he's trying to profiteer off of something that's not right. However, I just think that's because I'm so based in one camp that I'm going to look that way. When I really sit back and think about this, I think it's just symptomatic of, of the main problem, which is a lack of information, a lack of informed decision makers at the top.